It's K die, bitch. Hey, it's K-Dye, bitch. Hey, man, it's your girl K-Dye. It's K-Dye. With another interview. Shout out DME TV. And shout out my support, man. We out here and we really doing this. What's going on, K-Dye? Hey, how you doing, man? Talk to me, talk to me, man. I've been hearing, I've been, I've been hearing some good music coming from your way lately. What's the word? What's the word? Yeah, man, the verdict is I'm not stopping. So either you support me or you're going to watch the come up. I know that's right. For the fans who don't know, man, introduce yourself. Let them know exactly who you is, where you from, um, the whole tw- nine. Word. I'm a 20-year-old female artist from Somerville, South Carolina. The name is K-Dike. Now, with a Y, it's K-D-I-K-E, and you know that. And for the people who know what's up, it's K-Dike, bitch. <laughs> I be seeing you on Instagram. Your Insta be lit. Like, you be, you be turning up on the Instagram and shit. <laughs> low-key, low-key. What's that? Let, let them know how to get in touch with you on Instagram. Instagram is K-Dike with four E's. K-D-I-K-E-E-E-E. I got you. Know that. So, let's get into it, man. How, what, what? What got you into the, the whole music game, making music and shit like that? I actually started off real young, where I didn't have really a support system where I felt like I didn't. So the way when I used to get in trouble, I used to get my brother's flip phone and just record acapellas, like just talking trash about my family. But it wasn't trash to me because that was my feelings, but yeah. other people heard it, they feel like I was talking trash. But then it just started from there, and then I started doing poetry. And people in class, like, I thought it was whack. Then when I hear what other people, other people write, they'd be like, dang, that was real good. But I just, like, brushed it off because I thought, if I could do this, everybody else could do it. But then I started to see, like, not everybody can do what I'm doing. So I just kept going. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So give me a number on the years you think you've been doing it right now. What did you say? Give me a number on the years you think you've been making music. Oh, I would just actually say one. Like, this is one year. Yeah, I actually took it real serious last year when I recorded my first song. Wow. And then, so, actually June, well, right here, July makes a year that I've been actually doing music. That's big. That's some hard work. Uh, That's a lot of hard work. One year? I know. That's a pat on the back. You deserve that. Matter of fact, just hold up. <laughs> I mean, I don't see it until, because I feel like I can always work harder than what I'm doing. But always, then, yeah. When I look back... And I see, like, dang, I really just started this last year, and I'm just not stopping. Just imagine how I'm going to be next year around this yeah, time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bigger and better. That's what's up. It's kid eight, man. Y'all know that. That's what's up. One year, that's what's up. I got to give it to you. I, I commend you on that. Appreciate That's that. almost like my story, though. Like, I I, I started shooting videos and, and doing this shit, and, like, within a year, I got nominated. Probably shot by like 150 something videos in like a year, some crazy See, shit. Like, you know what I mean? So that's like, good, bro. Yeah. So, what was the first song on the beat that K Dyke dropped? What was your first song? See, actually, the first song on the beat, it happened in a car. Well, actually, I used to just freestyle with like people who just wanted me to freestyle, and I used to just, we just recorded on the voice memos. It was yeah. never actually recorded in the studio. And like, the first time I knew I could really freestyle, I was sitting in the car high, and I was rapping. I was like, "That should sound kind of good. I gotta start recording." Yeah. Then yeah. I started recording, but I never took it seriously because you know there's always people that be like, "But that shit, that shit don't sound good." Like they talk behind my back, but then I started getting noticed. And then last year, I had studios and stuff. I record songs, but it was never serious. But then the first song I ever recorded was called. I don't remember because I used to record stuff and just put it to the side, never yeah, like yeah. mix and produce it. But I think it's called Respect on My Name because that's when Birdman came out with that put that respect on my name. Yeah, and yeah. then I just turned it into actual like a melod, a, 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 a melodic song like put some respect on my motherfucking name. Yeah. I do this for the people and not the fucking fame. But I never, I still never released that song. Like it's still never out. Dang. I just played too much, but. So what gets you what 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 gets you in the zone to make some some music like? What's your whole thought process like when you go down to start with a beat? It actually doesn't even start with a beat. It just starts with life, like a situation that happened. Yeah. And then I hear a beat, and I put the situation to the beat. Like one day I was fussing with my mom about something, and the dude had just sent me a beat, and I was already mad. I was like, man, I'm just writing a song because they get me shit, and I put the song the beat on, and then everything just flew out like how I was feeling, and then that's how I just come out with music. So you you record your own music? I got to. You know them boy be taxing. That's so 
I had to learn. Like, I learned how to do this myself because yeah. nobody going to teach you. They're going to, you got to pay them. Yeah. They're going to yeah. tax you and still don't give you everything you need to know. So YouTube is my best friend. I know that's right. And that's how I learned how to mix. I'm still not that. I'm good, but I could be better. Yeah, yeah, but yeah. But I yeah, mixed definitely. my whole, um, my mixtape that just dropped, Rehabilitation and Repertoire. Go ahead and cop that on Spring Reeler YouTube yeah. and SoundCloud at K-Dyke. But yeah, I just had to do it myself, man. Let's talk about that mixtape. You got some bangers on that mixtape. Hey. What's up? The Rehabilitation and Repertoire is just the, the, the growth and the changes that I've been going through, everybody who said they really with me, the girls who don't let me down, the people who don't let me down, the heartbreak, and yeah. I'm just building back from that. You can definitely hear the heartbreak in it. Yeah, um, is, you can hear it in it. I ain't even gonna lie. I was like, okay, I can see it. You know? yeah. <laughs> like visuals coming yeah, soon, because y'all gonna yeah. have to understand. Maybe if you can't understand on them lyrics, yeah. I gotta give you the visual so you yeah. know what I'm talking about. Facts, facts, facts. Them girl done fucked me up, but guess what? Y'all know who it is, so I don't even got to tell you, man. It's, I don't even want to show you the back of my shirt, but it's K-Dog, bitch. I know that shit. They man. know that, man. So for somebody who ain't never been to Somerville, like get him a day, get him a day in the life of K-Dog. Like, like, what's your life like, ripping and running through the city? Actually, I done chilled out. I don't even rep and run through the city. I go to work, come home, and try to figure out new ways every day to be able to put myself out there so people can know who I am. Facts, facts. I don't even want to be, I don't even want to rep and run through the city because it's so polluted with negativity and violence that if yeah. I'm out there, I won't be able to make music because I'm in too much shit. I got you, I got you. So, um, so what you, what you see yourself at in the next... I ain't even gonna say two years with her. I gotta say like six months because you did all this in one year. So I say about in the next six months, what you see, what you see happening with K Dyke Future? I see a lot of Some interviews. Realness. I see a lot of out of town shows. Mixtape wise, no mixtape. Straight visuals, straight singles. Cause y'all like the singles, y'all hate the mixtapes, but y'all yeah. gonna love me. But I see a lot of exposure, a lot of promotion, and there's a lot of out-of-town love more than the in-city love like the city love me too but i know the out-of-town love gonna be deeper because they yeah. don't know me so they're gonna want to know who i am yeah 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 that's yeah. facts that's facts you've been doing a lot of pushing to a lot of the out-of-town networks and stuff like that to to get your music out there the farthest i went was the outskirts of atlanta and that was last year around yeah. november but the closest recently it was georgetown i performed at a um what was it? It was, I forgot her name, but she had a album release and I performed that. And they really loved me. Yeah, and I yeah. loved that. That's what's up. Damn, but, where the hell I been at? I don't know. It was on Priscilla. Priscilla, yeah, that's just... Yeah, yeah, it was yeah, hers. Yeah, she had an yeah. album release. And that's how I met um, Miracle. Because she, she was yeah. there, yep. Yeah. Gosh. Yeah. Look at that. Networking, baby. Networking. I'm telling you, I loved networking. it. Networking. Yes. That's what's up. Mm -hmm. So I'm saying. How many, videos, how many videos you got out? Sadly, I think, like, actual music videos is either three or four. Actually, I think it's four. But video-wise, I have a lot of performance videos up. Mm -hmm. I have an interview up. And, yeah, I think that's about it. But most of them are studio performances, like performances in general. Anywhere I perform, there's a video up about it. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah. good, that's good. I can tell, like, you don't have the butterflies, like, when it comes to, like being in front of the camera. I can mm. kinda I can kinda tell like you probably been one of them kids that like take the picture of me type shit. You know what I mean? Like actually surprisingly I was not. What? But it's like now it's just like I don't even be I don't have stage fright at all. Like, That's about that shit. Mm mm. People no always ask me if I'm nervous. I'm not nervous. I'm anxious to get on stage because I want them to see what I'm capable of. That's all. Yeah. Never That's nervous. Good. I love it. That's so what we going to see k I get in the next three months? <laughs> Not six. Three months, three months, Shawty might be out of here, yo, I'm telling you. That's what's up, man. I'm like, I'm amped. I like the music. I'm about to I'm, I'm about to turn it up a whole little notch, you know what I'm saying, and, and, and get a lot of my people's hit to it, because I've been listening to it. I've been watching the, the Instagrams and the Facebook posts and shit, so I know, I know what I know. But it's trying to make the world know what they need to know. I'm you know what, what I mean? Yeah, what your favorite song is? That you heard so Honestly, far? The one you got that video to, what is it? Uh, I think you be all right. I already do you want to say that. Be all right. Mm -hmm. I don't know. It was just something, it's something about that hook. That hook, that hook melodic. 
like you said, it's like you flow with it, but then like you break it down to like a almost like a, a harmonizing. Even though you still, it's like you you you. Rap, I don't know how you do it. It's like a rap and sing combination that you got that you do with it. It's like you can spit some bars and then like you fall into like this, like this singing vibe. But it's it's dope as hell. I definitely want to work with you in the studio. I think I can goddamn well. I'm free to it. I love collaboration. Yeah. Because you can always sound good by yourself, but when you find that right person who has the same vibe as you, that's always a hit. Yeah. Always a hit. But I'm definitely. down for it. Like, Be 100%. careful. What, what was it? Just uh, sideways? Mm -hmm. it just yeah, sideways? She be going, yeah, I be sideways. Yeah. sideways Play with that, she want to be with me. Like, all that shit is true. Like, yeah. how I wrote that song, I was at my homegirl house. It was just, I was just venting about this girl. And, like, she was just like, bro, leave that girl alone. But, you know, hey, you can tell, always touch my leave somebody alone. You think they're going to do it? No. So I was like, man, she said, I'm about to go take a shower. I said, all right, I'm about to write a song. She came out the shower five minutes later. Don't do it now because it was a quick shower. But anyways, she came out the shower. And I was like, I'm finished. She was like, what? And I listened to that. She's like, bro, you need to go record that right now. But I had yeah. one to go home and record it. But I was like, man, I'm going to just wait. Yeah. But that's how that song came about. Like, everything that I've spit in my music is 100% facts. I don't brag about money. I don't brag about guns. And I don't brag about gun violence because that's yeah. not what I'm about. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't want to portray the wrong message. I but feel yeah, you. everything's factual. The truth. That's what's up. Yeah, man. k Dad. It's K Dog, bitch. I want to show y'all. I'm sorry. I got to show y'all the shirt, man. Y'all gotta see, man. For the people in the back, man. It's K Dog, bitch, man. Come on. They know what's up with me, man. Where? Show the front. Show the front. You see man, the front. rehabilitation the repertoire. That's stand my up, ex. Stand up a little bit. Right. That's my. This is actually real factuals, cause that's my ex right here. That I swear that she still loves me. Cause that's just in my mind. This is how I feel. Like I'm broken down, but I still feel in my heart that she still loves me, even though this girl got me blocked. And then this is my recent ex who just fucked me up. And then it's the doctor right here asking if she wanted to resuscitate me. And she told the doctors, do not resuscitate me. Damn. Just fuck my heart. Fuck that shit. Move on. But yeah, this is actually real people on my shirt. But they might not know, but I'm pretty sure they know. Yeah. So, yeah. word. That's it. Smoke the pain away right here. Doctor trying to put my heart back together. But I'm already halfway gone. That's why I did the mixtapes to let y'all know I'm back. But it ain't for love, it's for myself. Yeah. Word. That's real shit. Right, man. That's real shit. So you say no you, you say no more mixtapes right now. Just no say more. singles and visuals. Singles and visuals, cause Go P dropped six months ago. And oh boy, I, they still not hearing me. Cause I got some deep shit on there too. I feel you. But they I gotta put some visuals off of them too, cause them boys still not hearing me. So, out of all the songs you got right now, especially out the mixtape. Matter of fact, what's your favorite song on the mixtape? I would say Sideways. Sideways? Yeah. That should be your next video, I think. I think that should be a Tarantino flick. I ain't even gonna lie. I think I think Tarantino should shoot you that. Think so? Hell yeah. <laughs> Don't boy actually everybody keep bugging over Rip. That uh it's, it's number eight. I swear you niggas can't tell me shit, cause I got it off the rip. I got it off the muscle, nigga, I got it off the strength. Cause it hurt to see my mama stress about the rent. So I got up on my ass and never went broke again. Why? Cause I want that Gucci and that Louis, I want all that shit. My flow hot just like a tamale beats, I burn through them shit. And my cash flow constant like a flip getting dick. Learn to never trust a soul, cause I did every five niggas through a snitch. <laughs> like, I just... Don't, and get them at the end when I say out of every five niggas do a snitch because, like, that shit true, bro. That shit real. You can't fuck, you can't trust nobody. Everybody gonna fucking tell on you, but... Them boy want a video for that song so bad, so I think I gotta do that one first. Then I'm gonna have to fuck with Sideways because the visuals I got for that, you might have to, I might have to let you do that one. Because I'm trying Sideways. to have a actual movie for movie that shit. For this, yeah, that shit, that's a dope ass song. Y'all need to check out Sideways, definitely. Telling. Let them know every place that they can get that mixtape at. Like they can't be, they can't be lacking on that. Yeah, don't lack, cause we can't be lacking. You fucking with Kid Dyke, man. It's SoundCloud at Kid Dyke. It's Spinrilla at Kid Dyke, and it's YouTube at Kid Dyke. I'm gonna be on more outlets right now, but I'm gonna let y'all get the little ones before I get major and bigger. Facts. So that's where y'all can find me at right now. You got any shout outs you wanna give? For one, shout out DME TV. Duh. Shout out. My home. See, I 
with the shout outs, you know, you you give people a shout outs, the next thing you know, you ain't fucking with them. Yeah. So I'm just gonna say shout out my support system. Sorry. Shout out Zakaya, shout out Jamil, shout out Wiz, Daryl, Quan, shout out all y'all boy, man. I appreciate y'all, man. We in this shit together, it's KDE's KD Entertainment, man. We out here for real. Cause I got it off the way, I got it off the muscle, nigga.